at our party on the plaza this morning, DJLC, helping us kick things off, and we'll let you know what special group we are celebrating today when we come back in just Let's a moment. Go. Make no excuses now, I'm talking here and now. There is our party on the Plaza MC by DJ LC. He's joined by Glenn Rose High School's marching band. They're pumped. They're looking quite festive. They're having a good time. We'll get to them in just a few minutes. Yeah, there's a lot going on in Glen Rose. We're going to highlight everything that that community has to offer. We are so glad they are up early with us here this morning. And as we head to break, we'll leave you with more of Glen Rose and their marching high school band, though. They're grooving out to DJLC right now. They will play for us later on this somewhat chilly Friday morning. We are glad they are up with us. We'll be back in just a moment. If you were a winter sandwich, what kind would you be? Turkey. With be bacon. A, we have a wooden ham. I'd have a little cheese in. <laughs> um, we are celebrating Glen Rose this morning, and there you see DJ LC along with the Glen Rose High School Band. They are bundled up as well as best they can be under the circumstances, and will play for us a little later this morning. We'll be back. In here on the plaza now with Warren Lewis with the Falter Rim Wildlife Center. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So we want to talk a little bit about what the center does and what makes it so unique. Let's talk about that. Falter Rim Wildlife Center is a nonprofit uh, wildlife center. Uh, we're supported by folks that come and visit us uh, through tourism. Uh, we have about 1,800 acres, over 50 animal, 50 species and about 1,100 animals, and we raise them in natural groups, um, and flocks and herds, so that they retain their social behavior. So in addition to observing the animals, observing how they live, I understand also that a big part of uh, the Wildlife Center is to educate people who come by. So explain how you get people to learn about the species they're observing. We have a great educational staff. Uh, you can come and spend the night in the bunk houses. We uh, cater to public, private, uh, homeschoolers, uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Uh, we have classrooms, but we also take them out on a tour to actually see the animals in their uh, natural setting. And I'm curious, while we're outside, it's a little chilly out here, how many of the animals are indoor versus outdoors? And are there any challenges trying to keep those animals outdoors regulated with the changing temperatures? A little bit. Uh, we don't get that cold in Texas, but uh, we do have uh, radiant heaters for our giraffe and uh, also for our rhinos. So we've got heaters in the floor and in the uh, overhead area. So uh, the rest of the animals do quite well. We have shelters throughout the park, uh, also with uh, heat in them as well. And quickly, I know you're working with some special species and you work in concert with other organizations to help protect right. them. So let's talk about some of those efforts. We work with uh, the Smithsonian. Uh, most recently we worked with uh, the Smithsonian and uh, Sahara Conservation Fund mm -hmm. and we were part of a group that uh, reintroduced an animal that had been extinct in the wild for about 30 years and it's the scimitar horned oryx and uh, we brought those animals in March back to Chad, Africa. So that animal is no longer extinct in the wild thanks to Fossil Room Wildlife Center, Sahara Conservation Fund, the Smithsonian, and a few other folks. That is fantastic, yeah. doing excellent work there. Thank you so much, Warren Lewis, for joining us. Ron, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Turn it up. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Right foot, let's go. All right, so the high school kids from uh, Glen Rose got here, and they're like, DJLC is making us work this morning. Doing a little cha-cha slide there. I saw some dab action. They're going to the left. Well, to the right. Some of them can dance, and some of them can't. I'm, I'm in the group that can't, so I, I feel for them. All right, uh, welcome back, everyone. Taking us to break now is the Glen Rose Marching Band. Looking very festive out there during our party on the plaza, emceed by DJLC. Good morning to you in Oakleaf, Rosser, Farmersville, and all of North Texas. We are back this morning. The Glen Rose High School Marching Band playing for us for our party on the plaza. Thankfully, they've gotten here ahead of that Arctic blast. So while it's chilly, it's not as cold as it could be. And they're doing a great job for us. We're celebrating Glen Rose this morning and more of our party before this hour wraps up.
Welcome back here, everyone. It is 625 here on this Friday morning, and the Glen Rose High School Marching Band are getting out their Christmas music for us here on this Friday. We really appreciate that. This is from our tower camera here at Victory Park. To getting that information, there's our party on the plaza out there. Folks are jamming. DJ LC has got the tunes going. People are dancing to keep warm out there. We've got Glen Rose High School marching band out there as well. Good morning to you in Newark, Bono, Ferris, and all of North Texas. It seems like the perfect segue, right? Because we're talking about how the cold can contribute to getting a cold and the coldest air of the season is on its way. Yeah, I'm feeling it right now. I don't yeah. have uh, suits and pants like these guys do, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting You're hanging in there. You're hanging in there. You, you can bundle up by weekend, Sunday. Right? You remember last week? Was it last week that it was out here? It was like 20 degrees. Yeah. yeah. So well, it's coming back, but then worse, right? Because yeah. this is sort of if you're if you're wondering why it's not cold yet, we're actually on the front end of a warm up right. before an Arctic blast. A lot to explain, Jesse. Yeah. So get right to it. Yeah, a lot of ups and downs. I want to start with though this morning because a lot of you are getting ready for your day. Yeah. We are continuing our Friday tradition here. Our party on the plaza celebrating Glen Rose and Kelly Harris is with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I'm thinking if you don't. Want want to take a huge long trip to get away, but you don't want a staycation, perhaps Glen Rose, a nice compromise. Glen Rose is an awesome compromise. We have lots of things there, shopping, bed and breakfast, history, or the dinosaur capital of Texas and the bluegrass capital of Texas. So come on down and join us. Speaking of the dinosaur capital, there's a polar plunge uh, at the dinosaur park. Boy, a great weekend for a polar plunge. It's actually going to be New Year's Day to kick off the new year. All right, hopefully it'll still be cold because we want to put the polar in plunge. <laughs> you bet. And it's, it's going to be the dino dive. The dino dive. I love dino that. Dive. More recent, in fact, tomorrow night, is 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 it called girls night out uh the third saturday of every month we have girls night out uh it's shopping from five to eight of course you can shop during the day but they have different special prizes and gifts and games and all kinds of stuff so it's a great opportunity and lots of great privately owned family businesses mom and pop shops lots of stuff going on there great christmas shopping i would think exactly yeah. it's all unique items how many state park passes would you say can you quantify it do you sell as holiday gifts um they probably sell a couple of hundred, maybe more, but this year, Dinosaur Valley State Park is one of the state park ornaments, Christmas ornaments, oh, so nice. it's a collector's item. You've, you've ramped it up a notch. I have. <laughs> yes, very nice, and thank you for coming out here so early this morning. Well, thank you for having me. We are glad you're here, and the high school marching band is here as well. They're going to play us out to break here on this Friday as we say goodbye, and thank you so much for joining us, everyone. The Glen Rose High School Marching Band, take it away. Good morning, America, coming up next.